Hey everybody, welcome back to Aramore. So, anyway, how are y'all doing? Uh, today we're going to be building a high school and some waterfront properties. So, uh, yeah, we're going to have some live build uh, stuff going on a little bit later. Uh, not much, but it's a little bit. I haven't done that uh, really at all this uh, series. So, we've got a lot going on this episode. I'm going to probably just try to record this audio here in one take, so I might say some stupid stuff, but I really got to uh, get this video done because it's going to take a while to, to render and I, I really got to get it up, um, you know, and uploaded pretty soon because I'm going to be leaving tomorrow morning. So, um, yeah, anyway, uh, today we have a uh, high school uh, we're making here and right now we're making the main parking lot area I'm using these diagonal parking assets. You can find it in the workshop uh, You just look in my collection in the description the assets collection and, and um, Just look up there's like control F Diagonal parking or something and you should probably find uh, them and yeah, these are really nice because I uh, I don't know like we haven't really had any really good universal Diagonal parking assets and these work really well for me. Uh, so I've been using these uh, Around and I don't know. I think they work great and they, they ended up looking really nice after we added some ploppable asphalt and stuff So I mean some of the areas are a little bit awkward because they don't include a ton of uh, different curb props that come with them like they've got their own custom curbs uh, that are a custom color and texture and height and stuff so I had to only use those as the curbs here um, so I like to fill like space that I needed to I had to use like a really weird angles and stuff but it worked out so now we're using ploppable asphalt here and yeah um, Using darker asphalt, by the way, at this point, I think I mentioned this last episode, switch to darker asphalt, um, you know, for, for now at least. I'm probably going to continue using it because it's looking really nice with the graphics mods that I've been using. Uh, so yeah, we've got darker asphalt, and also it's like a different asphalt texture, it's like more concrete-y, or, or actually no, I mean, it's not concrete, it's like, I don't know, the, the texture is an actual concrete texture from a different uh, theme. Um, but it's, you know, darker for the asphalt. I don't know. The point is, <laughs> I don't know, just using darker, um, asphalt at this point. So, yeah, uh, beginning to detail a little bit around the main building and, um, using some curbs and live oaks, uh, tend to look really good in areas like this, so I used live oaks there. And so, these assets, so I'm using the City High School assets by King Leno and a couple of the other ones, uh, that are in that pack, and then I used the... Uh, Streamline Modern High School by I forget who made it. I think they made like some shopping centers though um, So yeah, that, that's a really nice asset as well, and it worked really well with the King Leno uh, ones, so I decided to use that um, sort of in addition to those here and uh, they, they work together well, and I don't, I don't know so uh, adding some uh, like road wear decals and you might have like I, I sort of skipped past a lot of progress there because it like took a while to get those handicap uh, decals I, those still look really awkward just having all the spots have a handicap decal because th that's like the handicap parking for the the school but all the each each spot has a huge really bulky handicap decal so I don't think I'm gonna keep that <laughs> gotta figure out something else um, yeah anyway so placing some trees on these curbs the uh, so in terms of trees here I think I'm using the Padelmo regular trees or the generic trees by him and I mean yeah uh, they're they're really nice and specific ones I, I like a lot like the the shapes of them so I don't know the the two new generic tree packs that are out by Padelmo and Lost Gecko are really really nice and they work in really every situation um I don't know I've been using those a lot so now I'm making the bus drop-off uh, slash pickup uh, area here uh, and pretty much just placed a one-way road and some ploppable asphalt and I, I'll come back to this later. We actually have a functional bus route going um, which I'll show you a little bit in the, the live gameplay like for school buses here. Which I think is so cool. I've been wanting to get that going for a while because I know it's po I knew it I knew it was possible with improved public transport. Uh, like so, we've got like I think six buses total traveling downtown. Um, you know, every second really, which is I think it's just so cool. I, I mean, and then they make 
like legitimate stops that are only you know at the high school like uh, and other place I, I guess you know obviously on the side of the road but like it, it's only the school buses not any generic vanilla buses or, or anything stopping here uh, at this this stop which I think is great I, I mean I just haven't experimented with improved public transport much until now so um, yeah, I think it is a really useful mod. I just don't go for the functionality as much as a lot of other people like this is all really aesthetic But I mean we, we are getting a functional bus route and I think the last time I checked we had like 300 people using it in one week, which is which is pretty good I mean it's functional And it's nice. So yeah over here. I am placing some various um, uh, Houses and stuff I mean, we got through the main portion of the high school build itself, like, really quickly there. Um, I think most of the, the rest of this video is actually just doing waterfront houses and stuff. Like, yeah, we really did get through that fast. I mean, we do have a lot more to go with that, but uh, we got through the main portion of it pretty fast. So, um, yeah, I've been, like, actually cutting my time lapses a lot more, uh, so everything goes really smoothly. Um, and I mean, also, right now, I, I can't afford to have a really long render time, so I'm trying to make this video a little bit shorter. I know I say that, but it's almost 35 minutes long, because right, we do have a lot of uh, live gameplay. Uh, like, I want to show you some stuff we've been working on recently, and uh, do a little build uh, of, you know, uh, a little house, so that should be fun. So in game right now, we're pretty much starting the waterfront properties themselves, and uh, yeah, so each property pretty much has its own boat dock, and boat, uh, and uh, I took inspiration from an area near Seattle, or at least based it off of the, that, I mean, I, it's always nice to look at, um, you know, stuff near a uh, region you're focusing on for your build, like, I mean, this is a Pacific Northwest build, so it's always nice to take inspiration from Seattle. Uh, whether or not I go fully with what I'm looking at. So, I, I mean, I figure putting um, boats and docks near these properties, I mean, uh, from what I can see, it's mostly the upscale properties that have this, but uh, some other some um, other properties that looked like also had had uh, docks, no matter how, how um, natural the area around them is. And I'll put a picture on now, uh, on the screen right now from Google Earth. Um, of pretty much what I'm talking about. That probably doesn't encompass it uh, too well, but um, yeah, you, you get what I'm saying. Uh, so each house is going to have its own boat dock. I want to do this mostly around like every um, waterfront property we have. Not every waterfront property, but like many of them as we go forward. And it was a, a lot of fun doing it here, um, uh, you know, in the in this video. So. Uh, we'll have some live gameplay uh, making one of those uh, later. Um, I mean, right now, I'm just uh, here. We're, we're doing another one of the properties right here. Uh, just placing some of the Pedelmo generic trees, some decals. This one actually has this, uh, like a concrete path, but I, I put a bunch of decals over it to make it look like pretty dirty, uh, which I mean, I'm fine with that. So, uh, using some of the strict toaster. Um, breakwater rocks there they're like you got to use those not even just for breakwaters but just for normal rocks like they're awesome for normal detailing and they're really cool rocks so it's really easy to work around them with you know bushes and grasses and stuff so uh, definitely try to do that um, yeah, I don't know I'm placing some of these garden bushes and each house like if it's got you know just tiles next to it make them into a patio with uh, some fences. I, you know, I'm a perfectionist, so <laughs> I mean, I have to do that. But um, yeah, you some of the meadow grass here to fill this larger area for a bigger gap between the, the homes and s some wall rocks and stuff like that. Now we're actually moving back to the high school and working on a secondary parking lot here uh, with some more diagonal parking. So, uh, this space I had to fill, and it just made most sense to just add some more parking. Uh, parking can never hurt. I mean, I feel like in-game, people neglect it a little bit too much. But I mean, it, it is something very annoying to do. Not annoying as in, I mean, it's really easy in, in terms of just place a parking lot down. And to plop up the asphalt and stuff. But it looks pretty bad from above sometimes, unless you really um, 
add some detail, which is hard to do with floppable asphalt, but actually one thing you can just do is use some of the stains decals by Ronix, and that's all you gotta do, and um, it'll look a little bit better um, if you want to use asphalt. Um, I saw uh, $2.20 do that, and it's, it's really useful. Um, so yeah, just we're still getting used to the plopable asphalt mod, but it is. I, I've been using it a lot. I mean, for many driveways in the suburbs we made last episode, I used it, and just like almost all the parking lots I'm doing uh, as well, and like you know, nice areas, uh, or even in you know normal areas, I'll just I'll just use plopable asphalt. Uh, so uh, yeah, I don't know. It just adds a lot of depth and integrates the roads with uh, parking lots really well. And, um, yeah, so I mean adding that to this, this parking lot and, uh, continuing the curbs here. Once again, the, the curbs from this particular diagonal parking pack are really, really annoying to work with. So, um, yeah, uh, I had to use, like, cause the, there's one that's just a long, uh, one that's a specific, you know, rectangular shape. It's, you know, nice and flexible, but that's about it. The rest of them are like really weird shapes because they're just meant to work only with that, the parking set, but I want to be able to place them, you know, uh, manually as well and actually uh, customize these parking lots more, but whatever. So now we're working on some more uh, properties here. And so these docks, the, they're like piers. Um, they were created by, I forget who. Um, I think it's, uh, Mac Cross Hill or something, but, um, yeah, something like that, <laughs> probably butchered that, but anyway, so th those are really, really nice, because I've been using them as docks, definitely want to use those assets, uh, to create some smaller marinas, actually, around where we're working right now as we move forward, um, so definitely want to look into that, but... I uh, want to make some like sailing clubs and stuff like that um, as we as we move forward. Just lots of uh, cool little things. It's, I've got some really unique plans um, for some specific builds, um, so that that'll come in the future. Um, but yeah, anyway, so working on this uh, house over here. I'm adding a lot of foliage to each place. It's just so natural and overgrown. It maybe went a little bit overkill, but it looks so nice uh, in the end. You'll see. We get a nice cinematic of it, and I show it off a bunch in the live gameplay. And yeah, you see that retaining wall we placed there looks really, really cool. Uh, that, that worked out. Uh, this retaining wall is the prop ones by Ronix are a little bit bulky to deal with because you got to place like foliage around them to get them to work in most situations. Um, to like cover up the edges and the backs and stuff and yeah, it's really annoying But they're really really nice like the textures and size and stuff worked really uh, really well for me here. So uh, Yeah, this specific house uh, I used one of the network extensions um, Gravel roads to create a little bridge there and, and that's the dock I guess place some mud and stuff on it actually the, the mud decals I, 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 I gotta use more I have not been using them enough um, yeah, I feel like they'd work really well with, uh, what I'm going for, uh, now with the new LUT I'm using. They didn't look the best with that last LUT, but, anyway, what am I talking about? <laughs> Moving forward, uh, placing some, uh, more than Norfolk Island Pines. Those Norfolk Island Pines are my main tree now, and they, they just look so great. I, I mean, they're my favorite conifer in the game, probably, at this point. High try, but... Uh, they work uh, pretty well. Actually, I, I did say that in the live gameplay. You'll see in a moment. I've recorded that already, so repeating myself. Well, I will be repeating myself then. Uh, I really should record stuff in order. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, um, now we're taking a little break from that, and we're moving towards this little uh, area in between the high school and these houses we were working on, and placing some trees and stuff, and some bush clusters and various things like that. Uh, mostly just using the the live oaks and the Norfolk Island pines as my main trees at this point. Live oaks is my main deciduous tree, um, and also the white willows. Really like those by Mr. Mason. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Just I'm probably gonna be replacing all of the Siberian pines in the map um, with the, these trees uh, when I go over and sort of remake everything, which is going to be a huge thing, because, I mean, the, the, the map as it is, it's just a skeleton of what what I want it to be, so as we move forward, there's going to be a lot of changes, and um, yeah, I don't know, I might even make this main downtown area into, like, an island 
we, I have no idea. So that'll come way in the future, though. Um, yeah, so detailing these areas near the streets here, um, placing some dead trees and various things. Um, wow, these houses are just not very nice. The, these, these, uh, the, like how, how they're maintained, it, really, really not nice. Um, so, so overgrown and stuff, but I think it, I think it looks really, really cool. Um, just to have that, once again, might have gone a little overkill, but tell me what you think of the comments. So now we're working on the, uh, high school's, um, bus lot. Um, so yeah, definitely going to need that very, very, uh, non-functional, but I placed a bus station here, um, to actually have the buses come out of, and, uh, I didn't realize that you could just place it on the other side of the map and they would still work, but it's nice to have it near, near here, because, um, yeah, they'll, they'll come, come out of it rather than going across the bridge and stuff, whatever. So, yeah, placing this with PLT, and, uh, yeah, these look really nice. These, uh, the, the school buses themselves are by False Lucidity, I think. Uh, the, the, the older American school buses, the classic ones, or whatever whatever they're called in the workshop. Uh, but yeah, they're really, really cool. Um, so I have those in the vehicle version, and those are uh, going throughout the city at this point, actually, through bus routes, uh, as I said before. And I'll show you the line, you know, once we're in game. Um, now, ploppable asphalt, obviously, I'm going to come in handy here, and... Um, just a moment, I'm going to add some of the stains decals to just make it a little bit, uh, grungier, uh, because just the, the ploppable asphalt, like, just the, the dark asphalt itself just looks too perfect without anything, you know, you gotta at least have some road wear stuff, and uh, now I'm just deleting some of the buses just so that we have a little bit more of a realistic thing going on, um, and, uh, yeah, placing some, uh, of the stains decals, obviously, and, yeah, those actually really do add a lot, and, um, uh, I saw Two Lotters 20 do that, I think I've mentioned this, like, a couple times now, but it really, really does work just adding those and rotating them, uh, and only that specific decal from, uh, more stains. Now, uh, to end the, um, time lapse, just placing some speed limit signs and stuff like that, so, anyway, I'm gonna hop into live gameplay now, and I'll see you in just a second. All right, here we are. So I want to do a couple of things before we get to the live build. First of all, I want to show you some things that we've been working on in the past few episodes that you might have missed. Uh, and also, just give you an overview of the map so far, because people have been asking for this. Uh, so the graphics might look really bad when we're zoomed out. The FPS is going to be terrible, no matter where we are. Um, but yeah, uh, hopefully you can deal with that. But yeah, zooming out here, uh, this is pretty much the map. I want to terraform this a lot this whole area this is going to completely change so just ignore most of this um but this is pretty much how it's looking uh, i'm probably going to turn lots of these areas into islands and stuff and um definitely going to change but yeah that's how the map looks right now the map is just a skeleton for what i want to go for so i want to do a huge terraforming episode in the future and work on stuff like that but yeah, anyway, so moving forward, uh, let's look at this area, which we built a couple of episodes ago. Uh, so we've got the Home Depot over here, uh, we have the car dealership, we've got the, the back lots. I uh, really, really love this area. I think this, this main parking lot just looks so nice. Really, really happy with that. And um, all subject to change, might change some stuff in the future. Uh, but yeah, over here we've got the Chinatown. Uh, I really love this build uh, to this day. I think this build um, is one of my favorites in the map. I think it adds a lot of character. And, um, yeah, uh, anyway, moving forward, I also did some stuff off camera over here. Like, this roundabout uh, is functioning really well. Like, this used to be just a simple connection between these roads, but that didn't work all that well, so I decided to just make a roundabout, and it's working great now. So,. Um, yeah, the traffic flow is perfect, so that's working out, and anyway, uh, off camera I placed some houses towards the side near the highway as well, um, and, and some shops as well, so a lot of this is undetailed, but I'll, I'll go over this, uh, more in the future, 
Um, and now over here we've got the Belmont neighborhood. So the Belmont neighborhood, I, I really like this. This district is supposed to be very upscale. We worked on this two episodes ago, and I, I really love this district. I, I had a lot of fun making it. This park still has yet to be named. I'll probably name this next episode if I get around to it. Continue suggesting names for this. There are many things that you just might miss, so... I don't know. It's really a bummer because I want to go over everything because I had so many little details nobody will ever see. And it's really impractical, but I can't not do it. So, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we've got this little commercial strip over here, which I really like. Um, and the the uh, supports for the highway just looks so cool. Like, I really like that. Um, yeah, here are the suburbs. These are some of the f my favorite suburbs I've made in this game. Um... I don't know, they just look so clean and polished, but not perfect, you know? Uh, I don't know, I really love these suburbs, and the elevation shift over here is nice as well, and it's definitely going to work with that more in the future. Uh, but yeah, over here we've got the high school we worked on this episode. Uh, so I love these main parking lots, the diagonal parking lots. They look really, really cool. Definitely grab those on the workshop if you haven't already. And over here I did this off camera, but some commercial... Uh, which I think looks cool. I like this. So, um, yeah, then over here, I mean, we've got this secondary parking lot and just the main the main building, uh, which is a couple of buildings clipped together, and that worked out really well, I, I think. And then we've got the uh, bus lot, uh, which looks nice. And once again, I, I, I just used ploppable asphalt and then the stains decals by Ronix, and that, I don't know. It's so easy, with that texture you get, you know, a nice dark asphalt, but it's not perfect or anything, so it just looks really great. I saw two hours 20 do that, been doing that a lot. So over here, we've got this little firehouse that I made. I don't know if I did this on or off camera, but I think it looks cool. Um, and yeah, I mean, over here we've got some of these, these houses, which I want to go over more in detail in the future, but um, yeah, this cul-de-sac. And these waterfront properties are just my favorite. Like, yeah. <laughs> I really like this. Uh, honestly, just these these houses uh, near the park. Uh, it's just all so natural. And I think this is just an amazing addition we, we made here. Um, and I want to continue doing this. So one thing is I forgot to add sports stuff to this, this high school, which is sort of a bummer. But it doesn't mean I won't add it. I'm probably going to add some, like, a football and a soccer field over here. Um... And I know it's, like, disconnected from everything, but I think it's okay. Because, I mean, we've also got this baseball field, which I figure is associated with the high school. Um, but it's more integrated into the park. Uh, used for other uses as well, obviously. So, I, I don't know. I definitely want to do some, some more sports stuff over here um, in the future. But yeah, these waterfronts just look so natural. Like, it's just amazing. So... I'm really, really happy with this addition, and, um, yeah, one other thing I want to go over is I added some school bus routes here, so improved public transport is so useful. I have not used it much before, but now that I've tried it, it it's great. So I've labeled uh, the, the school bus routes with yellowish colors, and uh, I'll continue to do that as I add more routes, but yeah, we've got some routes going uh, around here through downtown, stuff like that. And um, I'll probably add some more here in the future, but I figured this high school services this area uh, really up to here, and I want to have more schools around here and stuff like that in the future. See, we've got the bus routes. It's yeah, it's good. So um, let's let's see if we can spot a bus. Actually, can we? Do we have any? Let's see. I think there's a route that goes up here. Yeah, we've got a bus going. Through here. Yeah, this is just awesome. I mean, and they're actually functional. Like, it's not like they're just residential cars going around. They're actually, you know, stopping at different places. I really do want to get that mod that removes these bus stops, though, because they're really annoying. I want to be able to just place my own whenever I want to with the uh, transparent ones. But yeah, these buses are just so cool. Like, look at that. Th these waterfronts. I'm so, so happy with. Like, they just look amazing. They're so natural, and I don't know. But what I want to do here is I want to um, do a little bit of live building because I want to, you know, maybe add some houses here. Uh, I'm probably going to keep this this elevation shift 
but I, I want to extend this road. Maybe just add a house or two. Uh, it takes a long time for me to add houses, so yeah, it, it might take a little while. So I might I might just do like one or two. Uh, let's see. Let's do this. So let's grab a house here. Uh, we've already got a tutor. Let's go for a Cape Cod. Cape Cod could work here. Move it over here, and I yeah, just want to place a boat slip. So uh, this. Somebody's made some really nice pier assets that I like to use for docks. Uh, so, like, they're lots of different shapes as well. But I think I'm just going to copy-paste one of these over here. Because uh, the thing is, I had to add these prop stairs. Because they the the pier creates, like, this area around it. And it's a different elevation. And I can't do anything about it because I don't have Building Anarchy, the mod. And I don't really feel like getting it. Um, once again, trying to keep my mod load pretty low for the most part. As I say that, I've got like 50 mods. Um, but yeah, let's see. It's better than the last series. I had like 70 last time. Do I even have 50? I probably have more than 50. Whatever. Okay, so we've got the stairs. Uh, and I'd like to add... I mean, can we... I mean, I might need to add more stairs over here. Just because of the nature of this... Uh, okay, you know what? We're just gonna leave it like that and add a gravel path or something. Um, so let's do this. And I guess we can grab Avania's fence here. Um, here, let's do this. So these fences are nice because they can work really well for like a uh, like a patio type of situation. So I like to use them in areas like this. And let's just do that and this, and get a pillar uh, right here to finish things off. And see that 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 just creates a nice little, really detailed back area for these people. I'd like to use some of these um, Padelmo garden bushes uh, over here on at least this side of the. Here, okay, that duplicated. See, I get really worried about that because I don't like my my. Uh, my FPS is already so bad. I want to like limit the amount of foliage I place. As I say that, I place a lot of unnecessary grasses. So, whatever. It's it's just gonna be the case that I've got bad FPS, but I try to minimize it. Um, okay, so let's place some purples. Getting the different colors in here is always really nice. And then I just like to just finish it off with some normal neutral greens there. And I guess we could do that and play some of these. I really like these these grasses. Those are nice, and they're really low poly. Um, okay, we can play some of those grasses there, and we're gonna probably grab some theme decals uh, over here to transition. Definitely grab theme decals, uh, the mod, if you have not already, because it, I mean, it lets you transition stuff really well with the actual, you know items from your map themes, um, the, or well, the textures, rather. Here, I might want to make these people a little beach. That could be cool. Why not? Okay, and let's give them a boat. Uh, here, there's this new sailboat asset that I want to place down. So that's fine. They've got a nice sailboat there. Um, I don't know about this asset, but I'm, I'm going to keep it for now. Um, okay, I mean, other than that, uh, I guess we can begin with some other types of foliage over here. Um, I've been using a lot of the Norfolk Island Pines. Those are my main tree now for the most part. So I want to place some of these here. Because these are really the nicest um, conifer, I think, in the game. Mr. Mason did an incredible job on these. They're high try, but the detail, uh, the actual level of detail is incredible. They don't look that good with some LUTs, because they look like really, um, I, I, almost muddy. Um, but with, with this LUT, everything's nice and green, and it's, it's nice. So, uh, I like to use those, and they're definitely my main tree now. Uh, I'll use them when I sort of redo the map almost. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know, I just want to finish this one property, I guess, and probably uh, end the video off, because I don't have too much time, you know, once again, leaving uh, on my trip tomorrow, so I really do have to get this video out. Uh, and rendered and stuff, so I guess should we should we leave that there? I guess we can, and uh, I guess we can grab 
some of these other things. I want to use some of these clusters, but no, I don't know. I, I'm just going to take a break from those. Let's, let's place... Oh, yeah. Oh, that's nice. I love this, this wildflower. Uh, I haven't used enough rocks recently, so let's grab maybe some of these breakwater rocks. These look nice. Uh, I don't want to overdo it with, like, the surface rocks right now because they're pretty big. Um, so I guess... However that, let's, let's do this, no. Okay, cool, that, that could work, and let's just grab some other stuff, like, what should we add here? I guess that some of the lush me meadow grass I really want to use. Uh, I mean, I, I think I might just leave this as is, uh, this particular area. Actually, you know what, no, we're going to fill this with the, the leafy garden um, plants here, because these look nice to fill a, like, just as ground cover, um, I like to use these, because they're really neutral, they're nice and colorful at the same time, so, let's add those, and maybe some grasses towards the periphery, so I guess that's pretty much all I wanted to do here, I mean, this is a nice, cozy, more, uh, secluded, uh, building here, I mean, let's, let's see, can we just add some lawn tufts right there to, this is so unnecessary. I, this is why my FPS is so bad. Like right now, say I do this, uh, seven FPS, eight FPS. I mean, <laughs> whatever. I mean, we're just achieving such nice uh, landscapes, though. Like, I mean, well, this, these waterfronts are so nice. I, I, I definitely want to do more of these. As we go forward, but yeah, hopefully you all enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, it really is appreciated. Uh, subscribe if you're new around here, and hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button to get notified whenever I upload, and uh, follow me on Twitter for teasers and updates uh, on episodes and stuff like that. And so, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you enjoy these cinematics, and I will see you next time.